All right. Hey there, Virgo. So you guys, we are doing a 30 day no contact read Virgo. And you're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about the person on your mind. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys check your other placements. Um, I put the water and fire um, readings out yesterday. So if you're just coming across my page, welcome you guys. I do hope that you subscribe and stick around. Um, you know, if you resonate with me and for those returning, thank you so much for your support and over on Facebook and Instagram, you guys, that's where I do my <clears throat> daily Oracle card pulls, um, tarot card pulls, the reels, the YouTube readings. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the readings that don't get uploaded to YouTube. Okay. All right. So checking in on your energy, Virgo, your energy. <clears throat> Look at that. So it looks like you guys are waiting on something to change. You got your Wheel of Fortune card coming through. You got your sun coming through and you got your Page of Wands. Okay. So you got new beginnings that are indicated by that Page of Wands. So I feel like that could be a desire for, um, you know, the new beginning to get here. But while you are maybe waiting on that new beginning, you're not really like pursuing it. Okay. You're taking care of yourself. It's like with the seven of wands, it's all about me for now, especially if you haven't been, um, I'm not going to say anybody needs to make you their top priority, but I feel like you guys are getting used to taking care of yourself and making yourself the top priority at this moment in time with the wheel of fortune card coming through to me. Um, that's that I would, that would, uh, to me, tells me you have that mentality of it is what it is. Um, if it's going to come great, if it doesn't come, you know, whatever. Um, it's not that that's not what you want, but um, it's like, you know, the sun card when it, it in relation to this connection in reverse, I just feel like, you know, maybe you're not getting your way with what it is you want out of this right now, but that's okay. Um, and I feel like you guys know that that's okay. It's not going to make you happy that you don't get your way, but you know, only time will tell is kind of what I'm feeling with this energy. If it comes great, um, like, I don't want to be in a mood if it doesn't come, but I also feel like you guys are just kind of taking care of self at this point. So you're learning how to let go of outcome. You're learning how to release energy. You're just, I feel like you're doing your best to continue to move forward. Um, if the person comes back, great. If not, um, it's going to be a bummer. I guess that's kind of how I feel about that sun card. If anything, a bummer. So let's see how it is you feel about the person on your mind. How are you feeling about the person on your mind? Okay. We got our sets. Um, okay. So some of you guys could actually be dealing with a third party dynamic. You got your three of cups coming through here. You got your star card in reverse, which I feel is just, um, again, you know, this person may not be who you thought they were. Okay. I feel like you, there's not hatred or anything like that. There's not a lot of aggression when it comes to them. Not a lot of anger. Okay. But, um, frustrations, I feel like this person may have shown you something that, um, um, it's like, it's like if they're going to come through, man, it's redemption time. You got your seven of cups in reverse, which means that this person could have treated you like an option. The knight of, um, swords coming through also tells me that maybe this person came into your life, um, but left just as quickly as they came through. All right. The seven of swords in reverse, but it's, that's going to be on the lines of a broken heart card. So stolen heart card, like they came in, swept me off my feet. And now I feel like it was a lie. Okay, was I just an option to this person? Were they looking for something better? Um, you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, to me, that that card speaks on options, um, you know, and maybe even having you on the hook and then still entertaining other um, people situations. It's like if they're going to come through at all, they're going to come through correct, right? That Knight of Swords energy in the upright. Um, I feel like that's kind of in the, the, the future aspect. If they're going to come through, they need to come through as truthful, honest, and they need to come through not bringing this energy that, um, you know, maybe what they've shown you. Okay. In the past, they got to bring something different. They got to bring, um, you know, yeah, stability, a sense of security. They got to make me feel like, uh, it's, it's like it, this whole energy exchange has been worth it. Right. So let's see who it is, um, that we're talking about. What is their energy? So you could be dealing with, um, a water sign, an air sign. This person could be younger than you. 
All right, um, you got water and air coming through very, very firm. They could be, uh, there could be a really big age gap between you guys, which is fine. Okay, um, you know, and I, what I mean by that is you could be 40 dating somebody that's, you know, 25 or 30 um, or 35, just a, an age gap that you wouldn't normally, um, you know, have entertained, I, I want to say. Um, and that, that the reason why I'm getting this youthful energy is because of these pages right here. So uh, with a high priestess card coming through, that's going to be a confirmation for some of you that it is a divine counterpart, divine counterpart that we're talking about. Um, you know, in the um, darker shade of the high priestess, it could be this person was very, very withholding. Um, they were secretive. Um, they kept you, you know, at an arm's dis distance when it came to certain things. Um, especially if you guys were kind of wanting to know what's going on with this connection. Okay, you got this page energy coming through right here. So the pages, um, they're going to be, um, it's like it's, it's youthful. It's some of it, some of the energy could be a little bit immature, um, you know, as far as those pages come through. But all of these cards coming through in the upright tells me that this person may not have known what they wanted. Um but I, I feel like maybe perhaps they didn't keep you in the dark on that. Maybe they made it known to you. I'm not really quite sure what I want. Uh, but then you get involved in this connection that goes on for weeks or months and your you know feelings do get involved. Um, uh, to be honest, I don't know how a person um, could go on for weeks or months. And this has happened to me. Um, and, and say I love you and do all of this stuff. Um, and then it's like... Psh, 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 um, but you know, the connection is just, it's not there for some reason. And I, you know, um, in some cases it's not even the right person, wrong time. It's just somebody that doesn't know what they want. And I feel like with the page energy coming through for you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who just truly didn't know what they wanted, um, at the time of your guys's connection. And I kind of feel like you guys might even were, you, you were aware of that, um, how this person feels about you. How are they feeling about you? How is this person feeling about Virgo? What do we got? We have the eight of coins. I like that that card is showing up because it does show us that this person does want to work on things with you. What else? We got a strength card also showing up and the two of wands. And we got the seven of coins coming through the bottom of the deck. So, you know, that tells me they want to heal the connection with you. They want to work on building the connection with you. Um, you got a strength card coming through. So you've probably shown this person a lot. They they may have picked up a lot of stuff from you, like as in learning tools, even if they if even if that has gone unspoken. I feel like this is admiration right here. Um, you got your two of wands, and so I don't know how spiritual you guys are, but side note, this is my twin flame card, soulmate card. So I do feel like this person, um, if you guys have done, you know, your research on why am I so connected to this person? What kind of love is this? Why is this happening? This has never happened before. Um, they've already done their research on it. So, um, and that's probably one of the things that scares um, this person into running away. Okay. Um, you know, for um, others of you who you're not really f familiar or you don't really believe in that dynamic, um, as far as how they feel about you, I do feel like this is a choice card. So um, if I do come back, are you, you know, are you going to, can you hang with me? <laughs> that's just how I'm seeing that. Um, it's not even that you got this. It's almost like, um, are you going to pull out of the connection if I do decide to come back? And I feel like this is also a contemplation card, um, you know, for, for now. So let's see how they feel about no contact. How are they feeling about no contact? I'm going to run interference on that, on my shell. We're running interference. How they feel about you. Yeah, it's, it's an interference. You got your 10 of cups. You got your lover's card showing up. The six of cups wants to pop through for you guys. Um, how they feel about no contacts. They miss you. They miss, they miss. It's like they're getting impatient too they're, as the days go on. And maybe you guys have found that you've been used to chasing this person around, doing all the reaching out, doing all the communication. Um, I feel like as time goes on, um, they're definitely losing patience because they know what you mean to them. Um, you know, I, 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 <laughs> humans are complicated. They're very interesting yet complicated. I'm, I'm looking at this, you guys, and I'm like, how can somebody in these feelings have this love, this kind of love and not be able to make a firm decision on what it is they want moving forward with you? It's just this mind boggling. It really is, right? So is this person going to be returning to you in the next 30 days? 
are they returning in the next 30 days? You got your 10 of wands showing up, which is telling me that they are going to be determined to reach out. There are, they are determined to reach out. They're not going to give up on this. They're coming through with this energy of the king of cups and the upright. Okay. We got our five of cups in reverse. So I feel like once they kind of, um, uh, disconnect from some of the lower vibrational feelings. It's like, the, it's almost like this, this person is determined to come back and show back up for you, but there's also a little bit that they need to release before they do that. But I do feel like they're coming through with that King of cups showing up with some emotional um, availability and maturity, which perhaps um, you didn't see that before you got your union card coming through with that four of wands and the new beginning coming through with the full card. But what we want to um, see about this connection is what is their, what are their intentions when they do step back in? What are their intentions? We got the world card coming through that could be um, taken as closing cycles of past, um, you know, toxic -y or karmic -y behaviors. If that is what you have experienced with this person, all right, um, so that was too many. What are their intentions? I love it. So look at that. You got some soulmate energy coming through. Their intentions are to close out the cycle of the past. All right, it's like they are ready to bring forth deep communication. I just, I love that this energy is coming through. This is pure intentions, you guys. I feel like this person is ready to show you. Yeah. I've taken, I'm, I'm taking care of the past. We're closing that out and let me show you a piece of myself that you have not seen before. So if you guys have seen a lot of immaturity from this person in the past, if you've seen somebody that just wasn't ready, um, if you've had to work with in and out energy when it comes to this person, I feel like you guys are going to be seeing some big changes. All right. So, um, initials that come through for this read yours or their first middle or last. We have D K I J. We have B and U. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it here. This is a beautiful read, you guys. Um, I really hope it, it it strikes you guys in the heart space in a, in a warm way, okay? Because I feel like you got somebody showing up for you that's going to come through very, very unexpected. All right, Virgo, you guys take care.